Direct News TV. March 6, 2024. Philippines flags harassment by Chinese vessels ahead of Japan, U.S. drills. The Philippines has said that two Chinese Coast Guard ships harassed Filipino fishing vessels within its exclusive economic zone, EEZ, in the disputed South China Sea, ahead of joint military drills with its allies. The Coast Guard vessels went as far as pretending to man their water cannon and threatening the Filipino fishermen in the Iroquois Reef on April 4, J. Terila, spokesperson of the Philippine Coast Guard posted on X on Saturday. This aggressive action stems from China's greed and unfounded claim that these waters belong to them based on their imaginary dashed line, Terila wrote in a statement. There was no immediate comment from China, which claims sovereignty over almost the entire South China Sea. It is important to note that Rizal Reef falls within the Philippines EEZ since it is located at approximately 128 nautical miles away from Palawan, Terila added referring to the reef by its Filipino name. The Philippines also refers to the area of the South China Sea within its EEZ as the West Philippine Sea. The Philippines and China have reported several maritime run-ins in recent months, which included the use of water cannon. The two countries have long faced off near the disputed reefs in the vast and resource-rich sea lane. Since taking power in 2022, Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has pursued warmer ties with the United States and other Western nations and adopted a tough line against what he sees as Chinese hostility. He said last month that the Philippines will take countermeasures against China after the latest confrontation injured Filipino soldiers and damaged vessels. On Sunday, the Philippines will host joint naval and air drills with the US, Japan and Australia in the disputed area as it seeks to deepen ties with its allies to counter China's growing assertiveness in the region. In a joint statement on Saturday, the participating defense chiefs of the four countries said the drill would demonstrate their collective commitment to strengthen regional and international cooperation in support of a free and open Indo-Pacific. Next week, U.S. President Joe Biden is due to hold the first trilateral summit with Marcos Jr. and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida in Washington, D.C. The drills will include naval and air force units from all four countries, the statement said, but did not provide further details. Japan's embassy in Manila said that anti-submarine warfare training would be included in the exercises. China has blamed the Philippines for raising tensions in the contested waterway. Top U.S. officials have repeatedly declared the United States' ironclad commitment to defending the Philippines against an armed attack in the South China Sea. These activities with our allies Australia, Japan, and the Philippines underscore our shared commitment to ensuring that all countries are free to fly, sail and operate wherever international law allows, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.